When you want a field update to trigger an automation that updates another field in the same record, what is the best approach to take? Well, for starters, you should avoid making same field record updates after the record has already been saved whenever possible. This means that workflow rules and process builder processes are out. And these approaches aren't even included in this list because they've already been deprecated for a while now. But you also shouldn't implement same field record updates in after save flow triggers either. So these two methods are out as well. And that leaves us with before save flow triggers and before save apex triggers. And let's talk about why. Before save same record field updates are significantly faster than after save same record field updates for two reasons. The first reason is because the record's field values are already loaded in memory, and so they don't need to be reloaded again, which saves a lot of time. And the second reason is because the updates are performed by changing the field values in memory as opposed to having to do database reads and writes, which can be costly when it comes to performance. So adjusting these values before you save the record eliminates costly DML operations and also cuts down on the number of recursive saves because you only have to save the record once instead of making the update and then saving the record again. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, along with best practice guidance for some other related scenarios, make sure to check out our Architect's Guide to Record Triggered Automations. You can find it on the Salesforce Architect's website, and I also put the link below. So make sure to check that out, and I am looking forward to seeing you next time.